Welcome students to lesson 13 of the Urban World Topic. In this lesson, the first of our case study of an HIC city, we're going to be exploring Bristol. I'm going to tell you why it's important and where it is in the UK. And from then, in future lessons, we will start to understand the opportunities, good things and challenges, bad things affecting people living in Bristol today. Please take a moment to write the date, title and learning objective. Have a pen and paper ready to learn. Time to review prior learning. Please write one to 10, answer the questions from memory, and then mark your answers. Game time. Number one, many cities in the UK grew due to the industrial revolution, which led to a rise in the secondary sector and rural to urban migration. Two, most of the coal mines in the UK are in the Midlands and North. Three, the British Empire meant that the UK needed many ports for trade, so most of the UK cities are located on the coast or on rivers. Four, the invention of fertilisers through the Harbour Bosch process led to a rise in global crop yields, which is the amount of food grown. Five, originally Rio de Janeiro was an important port for the Portuguese Empire, and it exported many commodities such as crops and minerals to Europe. Six, Mechanisation of agriculture meant that many newly unemployed farmers in Brazil migrated to Rio. 7. Rio's carnival is the largest in the world, attracting more than a million people annually. 8. The Grameen Bank gives microfinance loans to poor rural farmers in Bangladesh, and today among other countries. 9. The World Bank's HIPC initiative cancels the debt of heavily indebted poor countries. 10. Nigeria's secondary school attendance rate has increased from about 25% in 1990 to about 52% in 2019. Give yourselves a mark out of 10. If you got 8 or more, excellent. You've really understood these ideas. Any questions that you got wrong, test yourselves on them in a week's time and repeatedly so that you remember them. To introduce our HIC City case study, Bristol, I'm going to show you some photos. Use the photos to answer the questions and your own understanding, then we will discuss them. Here's the photo. Here are the questions. So question one, what is the value of university and how does it help people? Well, you should have said that university gives people advanced skills, for example, in maths or computing or medicine or law or any other degree subject that you might get. And these skills are used by people to be able to get better jobs as adults or to be able to start businesses. And consequently, it increases their incomes and so their standard of living improves. That's the value of university. Question two, how might Bristol University affect the economic structure in a city? Well, you may have said that Bristol University and other universities generally might push the structure of a city towards the tertiary and quaternary sectors especially because universities are the leading centers of research and innovation in a country it's where new, te new technologies are invented and new problems are solved such as, for example, Oxford University, which is developing a vaccine for coronavirus. Three, what effect might Bristol University have on migration to and from the city? You should have said that Bristol University ends up increasing migration, both from around the UK and internationally, as young, skilled people would like to increase their education so that they can further access better jobs in cities like London. Consequently, Bristol University probably leads to population growth in the city of Bristol. And at the very least, it leads to economic growth. Four, Bristol has a port. How might this relate to Britain's colonial past? Well, if you recall the lesson about colonialism in the development topic, you may have said that ports were vital sources and centres for imports and exports of goods around a country's empire. Britain had an empire which controlled many countries around the world, and consequently it had goods that were arriving constantly. Much of these goods were arriving in ports like Bristol's port. Okay, this lesson, we're going to answer two important questions. I'm going to help you understand Bristol's location and its importance in the UK and in the world. Let's go. So where is Bristol and why did it grow? It's an important story. I introduced the idea of the UK cities last lesson, but let's focus in particular on Bristol today. 
So Bristol is a city of about 500,000 people located in the southwest of England. It is located south of the Thames estuary on the River Avon, near to the border of Wales, and approximately 100 miles away from the outskirts of London. It is also located along Britain's main industrial corridor called the M4 corridor. That's along the M4 motorway here. This is where a large number of Britain's manufacturing companies and research companies and science parks are located. It is the richest area by GDP per capita of the UK and Bristol makes up a part of this rich M4 corridor. Why did it grow? Bristol played a central role in the UK's trade around the world, both in the past and still today. When Britain's empire expanded to control Africa at the end of the 19th century, and before when Britain's empire controlled the east coast of the United States, the so-called 13 colonies, and Canada, as well as the Caribbean islands here, Bristol served as a main port to receive and export goods as part of this, what was called an economic triangle. Slaves and spices and other commodities were exported from Africa and sent to the West Indies here. Other slaves and also other commodities, particularly crops, were sent to America. And then these were exported to the United Kingdom, where they arrived at the port of Bristol. At Bristol a large volume of manufactured goods, such as steel and cotton, were produced and these were exported to the American colonies where they were sold. So Britain and Bristol were vital in this trade around the world, the so-called economic triangle of the Atlantic Ocean. In the 19th century, Bristol served as an economic hub because it was one of the UK's main manufacturing cities, especially of steel for ships, and construction and also of cotton for textiles, which made clothes. Consequently, Bristol became an enormously rich city. People like John Cabot, who were slave owners and uh, merchants who sold goods around the world, became very wealthy in Bristol and ended up using that money to create very large and extremely impressive buildings. And they gave a lot of money to Bristol's university, which helped it grow. Additionally, Bristol's role as the port of Britain at that time, due to its advantageous location on the west coast, meant that many businesses set up around the port because they wanted to reduce transportation costs since they could easily unload their goods they'd manufactured onto a ship to be sent to America and sold for money. When the ships arrived in Britain, they often arrived at Bristol, they were unloaded and transported around the UK. So many jobs were created in Bristol due to world trade. Once the British Empire ended and Britain's colonies became independent, many people in those former colonies from the Americas, from African countries and from the Caribbean migrated to Bristol. This led to significant population growth from the beginning of the 20th century onwards. At the beginning of the 20th century, the docks and manufacturing were the main economic activity in Bristol because of its role as a port and a manufacturing centre. However, today, over time, due to the increasing importance of Bristol University and deindustrialization in the UK, the tertiary sector has become increasingly important in Bristol and the manufacturing sector and the port have declined in their role and importance within the city. So Bristol's history is deeply rooted in Britain's colonial past. And Bristol's location in the southwest of the UK made it an important hub of trade, imports and exports across the Atlantic Ocean. So what makes Bristol important? today. Manufacturing and the port were the main functions of Bristol in the past, but they are no longer the main functions. Despite this, the legacy, which means the effects of the wealth created by these two functions, is still felt today. 
These two activities generated enormous taxes and revenues for the government and for local business people in Bristol. These taxes went to the local government and they were spent on investing in infrastructure, in buildings and in research and in the training of the population. Consequently, Bristol had a highly skilled population very early on, after the end of the British Empire in the 20th century. This investment in infrastructure, such as in railways and in electricity and in the skills of the population, has led to a change in Bristol's economic activity. So that today, Bristol is important for a different reason. Let me show you. The University of Bristol is now one of the main reasons why the city is famous and important in the UK. It is one of the largest universities in the world by the number of students that attend, and importantly one of the largest in accepting international students from countries as far afield as China, New Zealand and Chile. This not only makes money for the university and for the UK, but it also attracts skilled people around the world who train in subjects like education and medicine and law, and then go on to work in high paid jobs in the UK, which add to the UK's economy. Consequently, Bristol University is a main reason why Bristol is important. Bristol's also famous for tourism. It is the number two most visited city in the UK after London, and that is partly because it has lots of famous physical and human landmarks. This is the Clifton Bridge, and behind it you see the hot air balloons of the hot air balloon fiesta that happens annually in Bristol. These are just two examples of tourist events in Bristol that attract thousands of people internationally and from across the UK every year. And as a result of tourism, Bristol is a very famous city around the world. Many people in the United Kingdom would not think that Bristol is that important, but in the United States, when polled, more people have heard of Bristol than they have of Birmingham, a much larger city, because of tourism. And finally, significant employment opportunities exist in Bristol that have replaced manufacturing jobs. For example, the importance of Bristol University and the high skills of the population have led to the growth of high-tech companies such as airline, aeroplane manufacturing companies like Airbus here, but also people working in the quaternary sector in media and research. BBC produces a quarter of its documentaries in Bristol because there are lots of people who have the skills and the equipment to be able to produce those films. And so education, employment and tourism have made Bristol an important city today. And so you can see that although Bristol's economic activity has changed over time from principally involved, being involved in trade to being involved now in other kinds of jobs and other kinds of sources of income, it remains a very important city in Britain. Okay, time to assess learning. Question one. What has happened to the UK's economy in the last hundred years? You should have said the UK's economy has changed from an industrial economy based on the secondary sector to a post-industrial economy based on the tertiary and quaternary sectors due to deindustrialization. Question two. Give me one reason why education as that provided by Bristol University is important for a city's economy. You should have said that education affords people the skills to be able to access high paid jobs. This not only allows them to set up companies and work in them and the ones that are already there, but it also attracts high tech companies because companies invest in places where people have the skills to fulfill, fulfill the jobs that provides the company with the profits. Question three. What do you think may have happened to unemployment in the areas of Bristol that used to depend on manufacturing? Well, you may have said that unemployment may have increased since people who depended on manufacturing in the past lost their jobs. And finally, what do you think companies in Bristol would think about free trade with the European Union? Would it help them or hurt them? Give me a reason. Well, you could have said either point. You may have said that companies in Bristol might have thought that might have thought that free trade was hurtful because it would mean increased competition from companies in Europe, which may have reduced their profits. 
but you may also have said that free trade might help some companies as it would allow them to export their products to the European Union without having to pay tariffs and thereby increasing their incomes. So it could go both ways. Time to embed learning. Look at the questions, answer them using your understanding and then mark your answers. Number one, the location. Make sure that you have the general description and specifics. Question two, the physical setting. Question th three, the role of colonialism. So make sure you have all of these points explained clearly. Give examples such as John Cabot and the types of product. Question four, employment structure. Again, both points. Five, is Bristol a post-industrial economy and give a reason? So yes, it is and give a reason. And six, explain the role of education. Any two of these points. Explain clearly how university affects the patterns of migration and the types of jobs. Give yourselves a mark out of the total. If you got all but two marks, fantastic. If you lost more than two marks, then make sure that you come back to that question and repeatedly try and answer it from memory. Watch the explanations again if necessary. From this lesson, write two questions, answer them from memory and then test yourselves on them in a week's time. Next lesson, we will be starting to explore more deeply the history and importance of Bristol. Join me then.